Good morning, Barrow Buddies. This is the week of March 29th through April 11th. Here's a joke. How do you calm down an astronaut's baby? You rock it. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a Barrow Buddy. This week in history, on March 3rd, 30th, 1981, the President Ronald Reagan is shot. On March 30th, 31st, 1889, the Eiffel Tower is dedicated in Paris in a ceremony presided over by Gustave Eiffel, the tower ended by the French Prime Minister, Perry Terard, a whole handful of other dignitaries and 200 construction workers. Celebrations this week, March 29th, World Piano Day, March 30th, Doctor's Day, March 31st, Crayola Crayon Day, April 1st, April Fool's Day, April 2nd, World Autism Day, April 3rd, DIY Day, April 4th, Walk Around Things Day. Celebrations next week, April 5th, Caramel Day, April 6th, Army Day, April 7th, No Housework Day, April 8th, Zoo Lovers Day, April 9th, Unicorn Day, April 10th, Sibling Day, and April 11th, Pet Day. Buddies are brave. This week we are focusing on the letter R. One way you can be an achiever is by trying new things even when you're nervous. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. Happy Monday. We're ready for a short week at school this week. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about that and some of the things coming up. Um, for this week, we have school, regular school day on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, we'll be having a virtual day in the morning. In the afternoon, many of your teachers will be getting their second COVID vaccination, which we're excited about. And then Thursday is an asynchronous learning day. So you'll check your class dojo or Google Classroom to find out what your assignments are on Thursday. And Friday is a holiday. You have that day off from school and then we go to spring break. So that's the week we have ahead. It's kind of an unusual week once again to fit in with our unusual themed year. Um, when we return from spring break on April 12th, our face-to-face -face students will come back five days a week, even Wednesdays. So we'll be to school five days a week for full days. And we won't have that virtual day in the middle of the week. So um, five days a week for face-to-face -face students when we come back from spring break. Just a few other reminders. Um, I hope that you are working on your Brave Challenge. I saw some cards out in Ms. Arnold's class when I was visiting her classroom last week and saw students were working on it. And some people had tons of hashtags, like they've been really doing a lot of these exercises, so that's really great. And um, we had some Barrow buddies who made videos of these exercises, which I'm gonna share with your teacher. So you'll be able to watch those this week just to get an example of how to do some of the more difficult exercises. So I'm excited about that. Um, also coming up in the week ahead when we have spring break, let's not forget that it's National Librarians Day. We usually are in school on that day, but it's over break. And so I hope that you will take this week to thank Mr. Plemons for all that he's done in the library with getting you all ready for Books for Keeps books and the book fair um, and lessons and book checkout and all of that um, happening in the last few weeks. And then finally, we've been um, working on our car rider system. So students, if you're a car rider, the important thing for you to remember is to stay in your car until an adult opens the door for you. Do not get out of the car on your own because that is a safety issue. Um, and we don't know where you are. And we can't see where you're walking. Um, so you need to make sure that you wait in your car until an adult opens the car for you and then lets you out. Okay, and that would be your job as a car rider. Those are my announcements for the week. Let's check out birthdays. Happy birthday to these buddies this week. Zeta Walter, JCN Lynch, Zoe Campbell, Omar Garib, Everett Hackney, Oren Freeman, Josie Bernard, James France, and Damian Nash. And then over break, Poppy Odom, Kumani Cobb, Yalia Mills, Beth Stewart, Adriana Suiza, James Gillis, 
Autumn Strickland, Jocelyn Hill, Bailey McDowell, and Vera Mellon-Polly. Happy birthday, buddies. And our teachers, Mrs. Portich and Ms. Byrne have birthdays. We have a lot of shout outs, which I'm excited that everyone's finding positive things to um, recognize students and staff for. Ms. Drake would like to give shout outs to the following students who earned a brag tags last week in our classroom. Josie Krim for completing work and being a superstar student. Zamaya Bishop for using polite words. Claire Boyle for completing work and showing empathy to a classmate. Ronan Ricard for following expectations. McRae Broderick for following directions. Louis Ortega for helping a classmate. Harmony Maddox for helping the teacher. Xavier Browner for using polite words. Shondon Myers for working hard. Lanier Bishop for having great behavior. Lyra Caudel for having, being a great friend. And Bruce Lee Bouvet for following expectation. Great job, friends. Ms. Kaplan and Ms. Chambers would like to give shout outs to Jamari Pettis. He has worked so very hard on his reading and is such a brave buddy. We are proud of your determination and your hard work in room 18. Way to go, Jamari. We would also like to give a shout out to all of our buddies who are doing a wonderful job during guided reading groups. You are working hard on being engaged learners. Mrs. Arnold would like to shout out her entire class. Everyone has been amazing. They've worked hard and worked together so well, truly showing what it means to be brave buddies. Infinite Room 4 is so grateful to have Miss Marissa with us in the classroom. We are missing our super Mrs. Samuel, but love getting to know our marvelous Miss Marissa, and that's in Miss Clark's kindergarten class. Miss Boyle would like to give a shout out to Leo Burnt for being a Green Life Art winner. He was selected as a winner in the 2D art category for this year's Green Life Art Contest. Way to go, Leo. Miss Boyle would also like to give a shout out to the following Barra Buddies for being so engaged in class by asking and answering questions in class and consistently participating in our classroom discussions. Kamari Gillum, Ethan Flaff, Donovan Johnson, Genevieve Kaplan, John Cook, Claire Beltnap, and Miles Scott. Way to go, engaged Barra Buddies. Shout out to these students who completed their I Ready Minutes. Kaden, Kaysan, Kamari, Claire, Ethan, Leo, Finn, Genevieve, and John. Way to go. Miss Samantha would like to give a shout out to Germany Bank. She is always working so hard and being brave buddy in our classroom. I am so proud of how engaged you are in our class lessons. Miss Donata would like to shout out all of our ESOL students. The whole school has finished access testing for the year. Great job, bilingual buddies. Ms. Leggett and Ms. Hager would like to give a shout out to their entire third grade class. We had a tricky math lesson last week and everyone worked hard and tried their best to learn the strategies even when they started to get tired. Awesome job. Ms. Automa and Ms. Garrett have noticed many students keeping making responsible choices that keep themselves and others safe and focus on learning. Crew 122 would like to give specific shout outs to Garrett Lott for being great at being quiet but still giving answers and using his work time always for work and to Jade Knox for always having her materials ready and wearing her mask as well as being our distance detector and spreading us out. We get bunched up in line. Thanks for being so responsible, Crew 122 buddies. Ms. Hinkle wants to give a shout out to her entire class of brave fifth grade buddies. They've been such great leaders and have really showing what it means to be responsible in the classroom. I'm so proud of them. I also want to give a shout out to the wonderful weekly something something members. They never cease to amaze me with their dedication to the publication and ability to get the job done. Way to go fifth grade leaders. Hope everyone has a great week at Bear Elementary School. Here's a joke. What did the egg say to the clown? You really crack me up. Before we leave, let's say our barrel honor could together. As a barrel buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make barrel excellent. We'll now observe a moment of silence before we think be, before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. <laughs> 